Once I go and live my life, I go for what I want. Uncle, 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 take it easy. That is not what happened. No, uncle, no, 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 no. Uncle, that's not how it happened. Okay? My wife is not like that. No. No. I cannot believe that you'd let Claudia brainwash you like that, uncle. Uncle, you should have seen Millicent on that day. I agree with you, Uncle. This is not something that we'll talk about over the phone. I will come see you this weekend, so we'll talk about it. Oh, yes. I'll be at your place. All right, Uncle. Babe, what's wrong? Oh, that was my uncle. Ah, uh, it was about the fight. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. So this is what she has been up to? Ah, clearly. I'll go see him this weekend. Yeah, I heard you. I'm going with you. Oh, no, 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 come on. It's, it's unnecessary. I'm handling it. Babe, that complaint was about me. So yes, I am going with you. Clinton, I was beginning to think you would blow me off. Ah, uh, no, Uncle. Uh, <laughs> you trust me, now. you know I wouldn't do that. It was just, it was just traffic, you know, getting here. Uh, Millicent, how are you? I'm very well, Ishe. How are you holding up? Mm. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, come inside. Please come in. Uh, thank you. You're my love, my fate. Uncle, I can't believe that you you bought her side of the story without even considering my side of the story. But I tried asking you years back. I had the reason for your divorce, but you wouldn't tell me. That is because I did not want to. Um, as much as she's no longer my wife, uh, <laughs> it also does not mean that I cannot protect her. From what? From us? From the truth. Truth? So you are confirming the suspicion I have had long ago that your mother has something to do with your divorce? As a matter of fact, no. Uh, my mother was actually of the opinion that getting a divorce would be the worst decision of my life. Uh, but for me, I could not continue living with a woman who was a serial cheat. She cheated on you? Oh, well, that's my reality. Initially, I did not want it um, out there, you know, just so that I can protect her. But uh, I think it is time for the world to, to know the truth. It's time to let the cat out of the bag. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uncle, this is bullshit. This is not me. Th th that's not me. How can I disrespect my matrimonial home? How? That is Photoshop. It's a Photoshop. It's not me. Photoshop? Yes, Photoshop. I, I, I didn't do this. Uncle, come on. He is the cheat here. And not me. You're not a cheat? I'm not. Claudia, you are not a cheat. I ask you because that is not what the incriminating evidence against you here says. We all know you. you you're lying. You have no evidence. Your uncle, he's just trying to incriminate me. Because she asked him to do this. So that he could go on living with her. But you know what? You are nothing but a sorry excuse of a man. That's who you are. Excuse me, Claudia. 
I want to have you talk to my son that way. He was a good husband to you. He fought hell just to be with you. And every little chance you had, you flew up. I believe and I agree that you were once a good wife to him. But it's so fierce you we are doing it because the situation was good. Yes! He created a little situation and you showed yourself up. Mama. Mama. This has nothing, nothing to do with you. Oh, you never liked me. You said that to me. You told me that you would never allow your son to marry me. The day he brought me to you, Mama. So what are you saying? Oh, well, I am not surprised. I'm not surprised you couldn't even stand up for me when your son brought up this divorce case. You couldn't stand up for me. Why would I stop him getting rid of a whore like you? You are a disgrace to womanhood, Claudia. Yes, you are. You are a big disappointment to the institution of marriage. And what again? You broke your vow? You desecrated your home and everything in it. And now you are pointing accusing fingers on someone who is innocent. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Aren't you? Uncle. Uncle, did you hear all that? Did, did you, did you hear your mother? Mrs. Okon, I am decent hmm. and not the other way around. Please. Hmm. Come on. Uh, you know, I was really rooting for you, Claudia. For moments. I really thought my boy could have done so wrong to get rid of you just like that. But he wasn't. At least, not after I washed some of the things he showed me. <laughs> I, I do not understand, Uncle. What I showed you before is just preamble. Let me show you the real thing now. Oh, come on, this is nonsense. This is, this is bullshit. Really? That is not me. That is not me. <laughs> Uncle, how can I? Claudia, disrespect? My home? How could I? Why did I do that? Uncle, this is a Photoshop. I did not do this. I did not do this, Uncle. It is a Photoshop. Photoshop? A Photoshop. Claudia, what you have just watched is a video footage of you and it acting inappropriately. Those are not pictures. So why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you pay someone to, to act exactly like me? What did I ever do to you? Why, why did you do this? Stop embarrassing yourself. This whole thing is becoming a big show of shame. What are you saying? Are you saying that I hired someone and made the person undergo plastic surgery to look exactly like you and took the person into our home to desecrate her matrimonial bed? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I, I don't know. Do you? Oh, yes, of course. I'll help you. I'll take you down memory lane. Have you forgotten so quickly? How disgusted you acted every time I tried to touch you. You will let me get close to you. And even when I have access to you, you fake orgasm. And in most cases, you never even reached out to say. And now what, you won't let me be? Now that I have found a good woman, one who treats me like a king, you have suddenly realized what you've lost. Claudia, have you forgotten that you treated me as if I were a piece of shit? Come on now. Hmm? Can we 
missed you. I just stopped. Why are you doing this to me? Get down of me, what is it? I missed you. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing what? This thing that you're doing, it's not fair. Look, if, if there's a problem, talk to me about it. Please. Clinton, I do not want to talk. Especially not to you. What do you... So now what do you mean not to me? I'm your husband. Remember, we both agreed that if, if there's a problem, we'll, we'll talk about it so we can squash it. Right? Maybe I've missed you. I mean, you've been this way for a couple of months now. I can't help but wonder if, if, if everything is okay with our marriage. Please, baby. Get off. Get off this bed. Just get out. Clinton, get out! Listen, I, I, I don't want to see your face again. Just, just, just leave. What are you talking about? Go, get, go where? Hey. I don't want to see your face, just get out. I love to break people's hearts so. Now maybe half one in Legio. Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Leave now. What's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Everybody child. Yeah, what's over? I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Clinton, how long are we going to live like this? How long? Are you finally willing to talk about it? Talk about what? Listen, Claudia. If you are not willing to talk about it, just please let me be. If you have noticed, I come here a lot because I find peace. A lot of peace here. Do not ruin it. Well, Clinton, I am... I am sorry. I do not know what's going on with me lately. I don't. I mean, this minute I... I am like this. I, I, and the other minute I, I, I am... Well, I am sorry. Forgive me, please. Please. I'm not angry. Rather, I'm surprised to be confronted with an individual totally different from the person that I married. Claudia, this is not the woman that I married. What happened to you? Claudia, I know. And I'm ready to make it up to you. Please. I'm not asking for much. I just want you to go back to the person that you were when we got married. What did I feel? I promise. I feel like I would do anything for the man that I love. The man that means the whole world to me. I'm not asking you for the whole world. I have given you everything 
that gives comfort. Reciprocate by being a wife. That's all I ask. Be a wife. Clinton, you know I love you. And I'm ready to do anything. Please, I'm sorry. Please. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. What no Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Of course, my reservation is for 9 p.m. And I am coming with my husband. The whole idea is for you to come and seduce him. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool, Tonya. The Clinton that you know is too principled. And that is what he's using against me. Listen, I want to break him. Bring him to one corner to realize that he is lost in after a woman before his wife. Exactly. I want to break him. Make him come apologizing to me. That is the plan. Good. <laughs> so you know me very well. <laughs> you know me. You know that I believe in delegated responsibility. I mean, what's the point uh, engaging the services of the managers that I have at that company if I have to show up every day at work? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I must say that I am happy. Yeah, I, I must say they are doing a good job. Eh? Yes. yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, sir. Oh well, sir. I um, I would have to call you back, sir. My wife just stepped in. Ah, <laughs> you know, women. Let me give her the attention that she wants. Thanks for understanding, sir. Thank you. <laughs> The occasion. Just like my husband requested. I want to take him out for dinner tonight. Are you serious? <laughs> Very serious. <laughs> Clinton. This is quite, quite. <laughs> Claudia. Yeah, this is true that I'm impressed. I, this is quite thoughtful of you. I, I dare to say more, <laughs> even romantic. You want to take me out for dinner? Clinton, you know, you touched my heart earlier today. I mean, the way you spoke to me today, I... I realized I've never been fair to you. Mm. So I just want to make it up. Yes. It's good. I see the effort. It's, it's good. This is how it should be. I know. Yes. Marriage isn't supposed to be a burden. It's meant to be enjoyed and not endured. Huh? I know. This is good. Well, you know, well, you know I can come. I can't, I can't come with you like this. So you'll have to give me some time to change it to something. But I can at least compete with what you're wearing. Come on. <laughs> you have all the time in the world, sweetheart. Change to what, whatever you're comfortable with. That, that's fine. My reservation is for 9 p.m. 
So we have all the time. You know, see, hmm. for this transformation and the kind gesture, I am going to get suited up with my Sunday's best so that you and I can take on the walk. Uh, you know me. Of course I do. You know I bring it. God, some must get away for it. <laughs> Just so you out. You know I bring it. Of course I do. <laughs> So, do you love this place? I'd rather we talk about the food. I like the food. Food is good. Alright. No. Nice you love the food. Thanks, baby. <laughs> I was going to say that I'm happy that um, we're doing this today. You know? Just like old times, we're trying to get ourselves back to the way things used to be, you know? And I hope that we do this more often. Right? That's <coughs> fine. <coughs> what you said got me. But that's fine. Well, I'm happy you like the food. And um, if you return from work early tomorrow, I would love to take you swimming. Swimming? Mm -hmm. Oh. Why? <laughs> Swimming. Um, why not something else, baby? Why swimming? Please, you'd have to forgive me. Uh, you have to forgive me, darling. I, I don't like to swim in public pools. I, I, I used to love it when I was much younger, but not, not anymore. We could try something else. Could you hope you're not trying to remind me of it and I have forgotten? Sweetheart. Yes. Come on now. Listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to take us back to the events of the past, okay? But you remember one time I wanted to construct a pool in our home. You said no. Because I do not like private pools. There's no fun in it. The fun is seeing other people. That's the fun. Uh, it's crazy. Trust me, you will like it. You're serious about mm. this? I am. Listen, this place, it's beautiful. I can't do it. It's a new place. Let's think it's of for something. Sweet is for VIPs. It's new in town. Very beautiful. Listen, I think I have to fly in the car. Hold on, let me get your flight. This is in the car. Just hold on. Just <sighs> watch this. Switch my food. Good evening, Mr. Hassan. I'm sorry, sorry, there's someone here. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh. Yes. My name is Tonia. Can I have a private talk with you? Excuse me? Uh, sorry. This is inappropriate. Listen, as a matter of fact, I came here with my wife. Don't tell uh -huh. me that you don't like what you're saying. What? I... It's your heart. Plenty, what is this? What? Are you... Are you this... Classless? Could even wait for me to just step out. You already invited you. Your side chick. No, no, no. Sweet. You're so shameless. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Okay. No Anyhow, I want, I go live my life. I go forward. I Anyhow, anytime, anywhere Until I'm chotty and natural Ya potoba Ya potoba Ya potoba Ya hello I don't know if I got it right or wrong But one thing I know is That I have created something that will make him to apologize to his wife. As she wants. Yeah.
baby. Is something wrong? They do something? Put together in my head what just happened there. You know, this minute you are now so into each other like we're about to take on the world, like we're about to explore our love to its fullest. But then you just, you just go off on me. And then you become so mean. I don't get it. What is going on? Say something. I don't want you to talk. I know you have to talk. Come on, babe. Don't say you don't want to talk. You've got to talk. What kind of marriage are we going to have without communication? We're man and wife, babe. We're meant to talk about everything. This never promised to be perfect, baby. But if we we'll talk through it, we can walk through it. We just might hit perfection, baby. I love you. I don't understand you these days. It's almost as if I did something that you're punishing me for. Did I do something? Babe. Um, please, I... <clears throat> I want to freshen up. Can we have this conversation when I'm done? Re really? I don't care. Babe. Excuse me. Don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Why does it appear as if I'm losing my woman? Anyhow, why? Anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and hey, now. Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. Is, I, I, I don't understand. Is this what I am going to face tonight? Cool. I am tired. Please, I need to rest. What have you been doing? What's that? Go, 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 go. What is the meaning of that? Where, where, where's that coming from? You told me that you were going to Dorothy's birthday party. Because today, indeed, is her birthday. You were not there. Who were you with? What is this? Are you giving tabs? To Answer the question, woman! Who have you been doing? Clinton, I will not. I would not satisfy your bloated ego by providing an answer to, to that question. Since you have resigned to the suspicions, why don't you just go on? I stop making me miserable while at it. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Gasara. Come on, no, no, no. You don't need to worry yourself about me calling you this late. Of course, I'm in charge of my life and I do whatsoever that I like. Please, no, 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 Mary, please stop it. Stop it. Listen, I am seeing you tomorrow. Of course, because I like the way you do it and I want to have more of it. So, dear tomorrow. Bad egg, I agree. If you do anything at all, no, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust, I love to see people in pain, I love to break people's hearts. Oh, now maybe happening, lady. Oh, yeah, what's over? Babe. Babe. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Yeah, Yeah, 
Claudia. Hey. What is going on? I woke up and you were not in bed. Well, because you snow heavily that I, I could even shut my eyes. So I just decided to come here. Do you have a problem with it? No, 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 not at all. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was snoring. I, I'm tired. It's been a very very, very tiring day for me. You know, I usually don't snore, but it's okay. You can come back to bed, all right? Um, so that you can sleep in till tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. Please. Please. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now, maybe half one in Legio. Yapotoba. 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 Come on, man. Your wife can't do whatever you're imagining. Please. It's not possible. That's what we all think. What if we're all wrong? Wrong? Oh, yes. It can't be wrong. Your wife is the most decent woman we've ever seen. Wait, why are we allowing this? Josh, you know me, right? You know that I don't like to work with assumptions. Neither would I begin to deal with the uncertainty of whether it's possible or not. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Then ask her. What? Josh! Ask her, what are you talking about? You know both of us have been living like strangers for the past six months. Ask her, how would that even make me look? You were the one doubting her loyalty. But she's the one putting ideas in my head. She's putting suspicious ideas in my head. How about that? It better not be true, Josh. It better not be true. Because I'm going to kill. I'm going to kill Claudia. The little twat that she, she's chasing on me with. It better not be true. See, chill man, chill. He hasn't got into this. This is all a misconception. Sorry. Yes, hello. Hello? Oh, you're here. Oh, that's good. Please, come in. Yeah. Ah, I hope it's not a bad time. It's not. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's, thank it's, you. It's, 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 uh, you can talk. It's fine. Eh? This is my. As a matter of fact, this is my best friend. So it's it's fine. You can talk. Um, Josh, that's uh, a private investigator that I hired to. Throw oh more light on. Yes. Clinton, you hired a PI. Oh, yes, I have to be sure that I'm not living with a woman who would someday kill me while I'm asleep. Well, he said you both are family and he trusts you. Well, I will sure break it down. I've come to the end of the first phase of my job. And here I submit this. While well, I'm saying this, she's cheating. But you have to go through that. If you're not satisfied with that, I can commence the second phase of my investigation. Guys, I still can't believe this. So, Cloud are cheating on you. Good damn, your life sucks. Now, now you understand. If I have not seen it, I wouldn't have believed. Wait. That girl you met three years ago, she practically worshipped the ground that you walked on. I know. I can't help but think that her new behavior is because of the money that she's exposed to now. 
was exposed to a life that she was never used to. You know. Looking back, I think I should have listened to my mother. Hmm. Stayed away from her. Well, this isn't your fault. Huh? No one can no one could have predicted this could happen. I mean, no one goes into this thinking the worst could happen. You guys were practically head over years with each other. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what else this girl is doing behind me? I don't know. But um, cheating, I will not take. I will not take. I. I'm going to ask for a divorce. Okay. Will that be later? What? Joshua, later. I cannot live under the same roof with a cheating wife. But you just said you're not sure. Maybe there are other plans she's up to, there are other baggages and other plans up her sleeves that we need to uncover. So what then do you propose? I will call Mr. Lacron and move to Bristol. Baby. I can't do that clean thing. Do you have an idea of what you're asking me to do for you? You can do it, doctor. I trust that you can do it. I invited you here because I need your help. I need you to help me unmask the one that I call my wife. If you're no longer okay with the marriage, then divorce her. You don't need to risk your life just to get a divorce. Thanks for the advice, Dr. Jonathan, but uh, what I'm asking you to do is not impossible. Uh, this is what men do in very developed countries. If at any point they are in doubt, doctor, it requires a very skilled medical doctor to pull this off. <laughs> Dr. Jonathan, you are one of the best that we have here, and I trust that you can do this for me. Please. <laughs> do you know the kind of drug I'm to put into you so as to make you look like you're dying of a terminal illness? You and I know you are not ready for that. I'm ready. My mind is made up. Please, Dr. Jonathan, I understand and I'm well abreast about your position in the medical field. See, women are meant to be wives in our clan. And when something fishy happens, men are meant to deal with this issue and get to the bottom of it. So we're asking you, because if our women are promiscuous, our men die untimely. So the same question is, can you please help a brother? I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts off. Now me be happy in Legio. Ya Yakotoba. Ya Yakotoba. Ya Yakotoba. Ya Yakotoba. Now me be this so. Clinton. Clinton, what is going on with you? I mean, you've been like this in the, the past couple of days. What's going on? I'm scared. You're scared? I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm not feeling well at all. <laughs> Excuse me? And you've been lying down here doing nothing? Why haven't you seen the doctor? That's why I'm to I told you that I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to go to the hospital. So one doctor will look at me and tell me that I'm going to die. I don't want to hear things, things like that. You need to get up. Don't you need to get up and go see your doctor? What is this? You need to see your doctor stop lying down around here. Please. Just get up. Doctor, 
What is going on? Why are you not saying anything? Clinton is my husband. I have the right to know whatever is wrong with him. Doctor, please, what is going on? He had a car accident. He was very sick. He is not supposed to be driving. Yes, he complained. I, I asked him to come and see the doctor. Why didn't you bring him here? I suspected he went blank when he was driving and lost control. He was brought here half dead. Doctor, please. Listen, doctor, don't even make it look like I'm not caring. You don't. I never knew he was sick. You don't need to blame yourself. The doctors are doing their best. He'll be fine. So, um, please, can, can I see him now? Why not? Come with me. After you, doctor. Are you sure he will survive this? Yes, he will survive. He's responding to treatment. That is the most important thing. So you know this is very strange. Because the Clinton that I know drives even when he is sick. I remember him driving us from Oka to Lagos when he was sick. He drove. Maybe this is the right time to tell you this. Tell me what, Doctor? We discovered he had a lot of internal complications. I suspect he's been managing for a very long time. And he never told anyone. Doctor, you, you are scaring me right now. What do you mean by that? He was diagnosed of a fibrous growth in his brain, in layman's term, brain tumor. What? That was why he went blank. The airbag saved him of physical injuries. The condition is not really a good one. It will take time to correct. He needs to be hospitalized for a very long time. what is this? What is... Wh why are you doing this? I am doing all that I can, but, but you are not helping me. Why? Just, just, just look at the food I kept for you since morning. Someone that is sick is supposed to help himself by getting up and do something. But you aren't doing anything. Just look at you. Just, 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 just look at you. Just lying down here, lying down here, lying down here. That's all you know how to do. That's all you've been doing. What is it? What have I done to you? What? Why can't you just help me? Do you want to kill me? You're not saying anything. Make yourselves comfortable. No, oh, Claudia, look at you. Come on, cheer up. Feeling demoralized will only wake you up and kill you before your time, you know? Calm down, okay? Donna, 
I am trying my best. I am. So how has he been feeling since he's back home? Has he been responding to treatment? Honestly, Joshua. Your friend is giving me hell. How do you mean? How is he feeling? Because I don't like the way you're sounding. Joshua is not helping himself. He's not helping himself to get better. You see, yes, I know he has internal complications, but at least he should get up. He should get up and not lie down there all day. It hurts. See, Claudia, I'm sorry this is happening. See, but we're here with you. I'm a wife. We're here to support you through all this process. We will not let you be alone for one minute, okay? Yes. I know I have busy schedule, but my husband has promised to remedy it, so I can squeeze you in, find time, and come and help you. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you don't you. need to thank us, okay? Thank you. See, we're friends, and we'll stay as friends. So just don't seem to see the whole world is on you, okay? I appreciate this so much. Okay? Thank we'll you. We'll do anything for you, we all want. Thank you. Hey, honey, just keep your company while I say you free, okay? Uh -huh. Take such decision when you know this man is very sick and will drop dead any time. Why would you do that? Please, I beg you. Hospital is the best place for him to be. Please, Mrs. Okono, you need to understand that the decision I've taken for him is the best. He should be in the house, and I will always come to attend to him. Hear yourself. Can you just can you just hear yourself? At home? When I have a life to live? Keeping this man at home means I have to put my life on hold. Take care of him 247 at this age. Is is that what you want for me? Mrs. Okono, I am aware he has placed you on a fat moon missionary. And he has structured his business in a way it can be running even when he is sick. You lack nothing. So money is a problem now, right? Listen, I have a life to live. He has to be here in this hospital. Come on, I will pay. I will. I don't intend to hurt your life. Well, I'll be detaining one of my nurses who will resume work in your house in the morning and then close at night. So I'll allow you all the time in the world. And who is this nurse? Millicent Ubasanachi, a professional nurse. Yes, it will be difficult to convince her, but she's the best we have here. Hmm. And who is going to pay her? Come on, Mrs. Okono. You shouldn't be asking that. A professional nurse is coming to take care of your dying husband. So to allow you all the time in the world. You should know you're the one. Millicent. What's not Alright. Until she comes. Oh, sir, she went out. Okay. She goes out to my business. Oh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. She does. Sir, um, she needs to have her life back, even if it's once in a while. Everybody deserves it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to hurt you. I'm sorry. Can I leave, please? 
please sir, forgive me. Those are the most reckless words I have used in years. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please, my apology. I'd like to be left alone, please. Okay, sir. Whenever you need me. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. <laughs> Charles, there's a way you hold a woman that makes me feel that you are a spirit where the door is shut. You know what, baby? I am still surprised we are in your matrimonial home. And I will tell you that matrimony, so to speak, is a thing of the mind. Different people with different approaches to it. Baby, I don't have time for that lecture, okay? You know what? Just give me 360. 360. Hot baby. Hmm. Well, you will eventually get to it. And you will find out that this lady is a hotter in other places. Oof. Well, let it be that you're what you look. Because uh, I will spoil you, silly. Oh, baby, spoil me. I am baby. <laughs> you silly, you know. Baby, you know, I really want you to move in with me. Baby, you said that a thousand times. Uh, but you're not responding to it. Because I can't. I have a sick husband. He's going to die any moment. Listen, baby. You know you hate this man's gods. His presence irritates you. So, why not just leave him? Leave the man. Oh, no. Not until I get what I rightfully deserve from his death. And what's that? Well, you will not understand, baby boy. And um, I will blow your mind when that happens. Oh, I see. So, that's why you have to pretend to be with him, that you love him, right? Who doesn't love money? I mean, who doesn't love maintenance? You see that man? He's just doing that. He makes sure I don't like anything. See? Yes. So, what does he do? Well, his main business is he does talk online. Do you know, even in that man's sick bed, he's making millions. As young as he is, the man is rich. He's got 11 estates. He's got a Benin, Port Harcourt, Oka, Enugu, Asaba, Lagos. See. <laughs> See that man? He is rich. Hmm. So, baby, why not kill him? Yes, kill him. Why would you say that? Because he's already a vegetable. He is a vegetable. Can't you see that? I am sure he's actually in pain. Baby, you need to get rid of him. Get rid of that pain out of him. Moon him. Get all you need. And then come back right into my house. You know I love you, Claudia. Kill him. Kill the bastard.
What is this, Jen? What are you trying to prove? That you are more intelligent than me? And can advise me? I do not see it as advising you, my friend. Because I know how intelligent you are. But I just feel I should tell you the truth. And what truth? You're invading into my personal life. And you call that truth? What do you know about truth? <sighs> well, the truth is this. You are not single like Dorothy and I. Girlfriend, you are a married woman. Married woman. I mean, that status means you should live by rules. Oh, don't give me that rules bullshit. Don't give it to me. Listen, I know can't die with that man. I know can't die with him. He is sick doesn't mean I am sick. I have my life to live. And that's exactly what I am doing. Claudia, what you're doing is wrong. He is your husband. For crying out loud, he is your husband. Okay, fine, I understand. Even if you want to do this kind of a thing, yes, we are all human. We've got needs. But bringing your toy boy to your to do so home to it's do so not right. What, so what do you want me to do? What? Where do you want me to take him? To a hotel? Yes, to the hotel. Because this man is still alive. And dying. Dying. That doesn't still make this right, Claudia. Claudia, what if this man survives? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> well, he won't. Because his body is dying already. All I'm trying to do is just to have him sign the necessary documents so I can have access to his wealth when it's fine. That is so mean, girlfriend. That is so mean. Well, Jen, it is what it is. But if you don't want to uh, believe me or be on my side, that, that, that's okay. Are you in your right senses? What are you doing? Believe me if you like. Don't. That's it. Wait a minute. You're praying for this man to die. Is that what you pray? Is that what you wish? That's your word. I never said so. How dare you? How dare you? You had the audacity to keep such a thing from me. He's my son. Most importantly, he's my husband. And I'm taking good care of him, Mama. Sure you have. But I have every right to know that he's going to drop dead anytime and go. Oh my goodness. Are you demented or what? Did you know your responsibilities at all? Mama, Mama, did you know how it feels to see my husband like this? Do you know how it feels? Yes, for fine. I know you hate me, but I love your son. And I've been doing everything to make sure he gets better. Mama, what is it? Oh, my son. Mama, 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 please. You have to take it easy now, right? None of this is our fault. 